Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Corey, and this is Frame Your Neighbor. Yeah, so today we're getting super retro with it. So we're obviously gonna use our SRTs as usual. Uh, but today's challenge is pretty cool. We're gonna shoot some incredibly over expired film. Yeah, so I think we were going down to one of the local camera shops and you ran into that guy. Yeah, stumbled across it accidentally. And I found mine on eBay, but mine is March of 1979 expiration. So this was probably made in about 76. Yeah, and mine is December of 1980. So both of these are older than we are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm super excited to give them a whirl. Um, so we don't know what to expect. We don't know how they were stored. My, either roll or both rolls yeah. might be entirely garbage. They might be cool. And I mean, also I just bought the SRT 101, so that's gonna be a new experiment for me as well. So I'm kind of going into this a little more blind yeah. than uh, typically. Yeah, so shooting expired film, what we expect to see is it's gonna be a little, it could be getting some like some haze to it. Definitely yeah. less contrast because all the chemicals are definitely a little bit depleted. Um, so exact opposite process of, uh, process of what we did the black and white where we pushed it. Uh, we're actually going to pull film today, which um, you know, there's really no reason. I mean, I, I, maybe not. No reason <laughs> to pull film. There's really not too many reasons you would ever pull film. This is one of them. Yep. So you, on average, you do one stop per decade. So I'm going to be doing roughly four stops. I don't know. I read one where it was black and white. Color was different. Black and white. I, last one I read really today was that black and white is one for every two decades. Oh, really? Yeah. And I think we, so it's 400. I think we talked about shooting it at 100. I think the research, we, we, we've, had these film, yeah. we've had this film for a while. And so we did some research and I think I'm going to shoot mine at 100. So it'd be two stops. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. And it said obviously overexposure is better than underexposure. Yeah. So this is also a little bit, since it is so old, it is a little bit different formula making this film than it is Triax 400. They had a film reformulation a yep. couple times actually, I think since they manufactured these. So this is actually Kodak Triax Pan. Right. So yeah, I guess we should mention this. This is the, the elder film of what yeah. we shoot. So. Um, all right, I'm gonna open mine. I'm, I'm curious to see what's in there. I'm also gonna try and keep the box too. I'm, I'm scared. There we go. Oh, it's lucky. There's paper in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's open for like a funky canister, but it's just standard. Oh, there's instructions. Oh yeah, that's cool. I'm definitely keeping this canister too. It's super old school looking. Look at well, that look tail at the on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just, just going that. that. So, all right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go do this. Load up, and uh, I think we're heading out towards Beaver. Uh, we're just yeah. gonna do like some really cool old looking small town sort of stuff. Maybe yeah, because maybe it, do like the usual abandoned sort of thing. But we'll see what we get. Hi guys. Uh, so we were here, we developed the film, um, it actually turned out good. We got some Im images, so yeah. it was good. Um, they turned out pretty well. 100 was a good speed to shoot it at for sure. Um, they definitely look a little bit retro. Yeah, some of mine have some cool effect on it, but um, it was actually kind of a challenge because you didn't know how to handle this. We don't know the history of the film or anything like that. And although we were shooting at 100, which is kind of like the recommended, you know, breakdown of it, I was more afraid if it was less light sensitive, if a quicker shutter speed was going to give it the right amount of light or if my images would even show up at all. So, uh, so yeah, we went out to Beaver. I mean, we weren't even thinking about this, but it, it was 9-11 and they had like a big town gathering. So that was cool. I got some, yeah. I got some photos from that. Um, we also went across the bridge and got some other different types of photos. So Surrounding area yeah. sort of photos. So yeah. Yeah, let's get into it. All right. You want to go first? Sure. Oh, cool. The swing. The swing, yeah. Yeah. I know you saw the other one on it from the other camera. Yeah, but this one still, you still got the good edge separation on that rope. So. Yeah. This one, has a, nice. it has a, this one has a nicer edge separation on the rope. This is a nicer lens. So, yeah. So it, it uh, you yeah. had a lower F stop on it. So it blurred, it pushed back the, the, the background a little bit further. The only thing that bug, bugs me a little bit about this one is the swing really blends in with the grass. <laughs> Just like, because I get, it has to be the film being old because it, yeah. Well, the brown and the green. Yeah. It's kind of close. Oh, small town, I went with the church. Yeah, I got a couple small town shots. Um, I mean, the only problem I had on this one was I couldn't get back far enough without getting hit by a vehicle on the other street to get the uh, actual um, steeple. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, 
you know, small town, small church. I like the clouds in it. It had good tonal range in the uh, in the sky, and it kind of reminds me of those pictures that you'd see from back then. Yeah. Just that color tone. Well, great tone. Well, you actually have the 50 millimeter. You should just take the 50 millimeter with you because you probably could have got it with yeah, the 50 millimeter. Yeah, probably. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Yeah. So. I like the composition of that. Don't have exactly the same thing, but coming up, I I have something that's involving that. I like how this actually the from this angle that this, all this blends together, even though there is like a gap there. Yeah. It, the, the, all that it makes it look like it's even more like overgrown than it really is. Yeah, but even your texture on the brick came out. Really yeah, cool. I'm really happy with that. It, it doesn't. And again, it looks softer, but not like a whole lot softer. Right. You know me and me old signs and yeah. decrepit stuff so no no honestly that one doesn't even look like you even shot it on anything other than regular uh, you get a little lighter up here on the top and i don't know yeah. if that's from scanning or what um the film was super curly when i was scanning it so i mean that yeah that was the thing this film being in a canister for 40 years was incredibly curly yeah. I, I had mine flattening for at least two or three days and it's still some of these still have i have a distortion more. marks in so. it because it was they were it was incredibly curly yeah, mine are flattening now, and maybe when I get back, I'll try and rescan. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, just a neat little like cafe spot. Yep, just two, the side two people. Yeah. I like how it merges to the focal point with them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was a simple photo. I snapped it. It's like, oh, it looks cool, and yeah, I like it. Sometimes I snap photos like that, and it's just like, yeah, it's two people sitting in an open area. Yeah. But this one with the the lines, it, the the focal point really helps, and I, I like this photo. Even that tree coming up kind of helps bring it back yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I dig it. I'm I'm happy with how that one turned out. While you were out celebrate uh, shooting the memorial, I shot that house. Okay, just because it looked really old, it had some cool lines as far as like with shadows, um, you know, and it. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of that old school like picture that someone would take. Like, here's my house. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I do have a couple of memorials. I was like, I can't, I don't know what order I have these in. Yeah. No, not that. All Here, right. Here's the, obviously you saw the other one again with my other camera and I compared them and this one obviously definitely looks softer than the other one, yeah. but composition wise it's almost identical. I don't think you moved when you were bouncing no. back and forth between the cameras, but yeah. no, I like that one. I like the line work on it. I really like that. Yeah. One. I'm really happy with, I'm happy with both of them. I mean, this gives obviously a different vibe than the other one. Yeah. The other one's like crisper. And you actually get, I don't know if I use a different f-stop, it's the same exact lens, but no, no, it's not. This is the Canon, so this is a different lens. Um, the other one's a Canon, it's a different lens, so it has a, yeah. it doesn't have quite the same You shot with the Minolta on this. This one is the Minolta, yeah. Okay. So this one has, I might have used a lower f-stop because the Canon didn't have okay. as low an f-stop. So, um, so yeah, so this was a little, like, this was a little bit below, this is a little bit blurrier than the other one was like sharper, but mm -hmm. I like them both. Um, yeah, I want to see this one in print. Like on actual silver yeah. instead of a screen, because I think that would really bring out some tones. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. It, again, it's like dreamier, like yeah. it's softer, definitely softer. Oh, my river ones, I didn't like any of my river ones. I like that one. That one, it was all right. It had something to anchor yeah. on the bottom. It has like the line work, the foreground, the drum background, but it was just a generic kind of what you would see for a postcard from mm -hmm. back in black and white. That stands out nice. I like the that the tree stands out from the background, but the background, yeah. the background's like hazier. I'm sure, I mean, it was pretty warm that day. It's probably some air haze. A little bit, so but I, th I think um, some of that's just a film too. Yeah. You know, a light hit it more or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, I had a couple trussel ones. That I didn't really necessarily, like. I like the, I do like this one. This is the higher up one, right? Um, Not the first one, the second one. Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't, I don't say I don't remember. No, I like yeah, it. this is, yeah, this is the higher up one. I, I like that you're down though. Yeah, that's why I like it. I took some other ones that were just like, yeah, it's a photo of a bridge. Yeah. But this one has the perspective and stuff. I was like, yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So, there it is. Ooh, I Someone's front porch. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I like all the spindles. I like yeah. that repeating line, the candles, things like that. Like, And then the stone actually came out too well. Yeah. And maybe a little blown out where the, it was super bright was sun. That, was, but, that one, was that one by the river? Yeah, it, it was, was on the corner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's some beautiful houses there. Like, absolutely really beautiful, beautiful houses. houses. Yeah. So I got this one mainly it's because of the contrast with everything. Yeah. Yeah, some of yours don't like I mean, a lot of mine look like they're retro. You know, some of yours came out like just using using uh, regular. Tracks. And that could be just how the film was taken care yeah. of. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Gas station. Gas station, yeah. 
think I got a, I don't know, it looks like a big scratch across it, so I gotta figure out that. But oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, Unless that's, well, no, that's, Unless there's that's, a little distortion, but there might be something, who knows? Yeah. We were trying to be careful with the film this time, especially, but. No, I really like those, ga uh, those gas pumps. Yeah, I got a good one with the other camera. Again. I'm, I'm hoping I do, but I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, I took I took a I took three cameras to try I, color black and white because I wanted to make sure that if these didn't turn out that I at least got some pic pictures yeah. from my day. Yeah. This is in the cemetery, so yeah, this is cool. just repeating line with that gradient scale sort of thing. I I don't know. I just really kind of liked it. That would have been cool with pushing film. Yes. Like when you push it three stops, yeah. so that would have turned out really cool. Not that that didn't turn out cool. Well, but. and I kind of had that little bit of mindset in my head. It was like, all right, this is older film. You want to? We are kind of pulling it but at the same point I want to get some cool contrast or see what this yeah. film could do and the texture came out really nice yeah yeah I think that must have your film must have been taken better care of because your images are coming out way sharper and you you actually get some like darker areas like all my all my pictures and you got dark I mean not nearly I mean our screens could be different too that's, I think that's part of it too. yeah but my my dark areas didn't come out nearly as dark as yours look mm. okay I'm happy with this so this one has some dark areas I lied I guess um, <laughs> But I like this. I, again, I have two photos, and, and uh, it was a different lens that I took, and probably a different, like, because it was a different lens, it was a different perspective, and I didn't really like the other one, and I saw this one, I was like, oh, I actually like this one. So I have a similar shot. It's not yeah. part of this group because my scan didn't come out quick, and I was trying to run yeah. around, but I liked that house, and I liked that with I love this it. Yeah, I love the house. All the bricks came out. The texture is nice. The yeah. shadow is nice. Yeah, I don't didn't like the like I said I didn't like the one I took with the other camera. It was just like oh it's a house, but yeah. I do like this one. But this one turned out much much nicer. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Okay, so you went head on with the guest homes. Yeah, I, I went head on with this roll, mm -hmm. and this was the only one. Um, I'm not exactly happy with it. it. It's kind of a little more muted. This is where um, I don't have the darker things, and you can yeah. see I this is part of the film that I'm starting to get these weird development spots. Yeah. And it's not anything with the developer not being agitated or anything. Oh, I have like plenty that. of those. I think it's actually the film. Yeah. Because this is, it, it only shows up further inside yep. the film. It did. Mine showed up at the end. Yeah. Like, I my last, like, three frames. Mine might be my last thing. six. Yeah. I had, the, I had the same exact thing. My last couple frames were spotted. Yeah. I think I made it, like, one toward the beginning, but I think it's more prominent toward the end. Yeah. Pause. All right. Yep. And we're back. <laughs> um, whose words? Are you talking about yours now, right? I did that one. Yeah, you're up. I'm up. All right. I'm, so you went sideways. Yeah, I'm very anxious. I have this in color, and I'm very, oh, yeah. I'm very anxious to get this back in color. Take on the same lens from the same spot. Um, yeah, I'm very intrigued to see this because the truck was like a bluish, and the station wagon was like a cream, cream or like a beige or something like that. I'm a, a little yeah. lighter than this. Every the, the color. I like the color scheme. It, and so I'm very, very anxious to see how this turned out in color. Yeah, they're right. I think it was red brick behind it too. Yeah. That might also play into that blue cream. Yeah, but I, I like this one. It looks, it looks retro. There's two. Yeah. Old and they're they're both old and old and older basically. Yeah. So I, I really dig that one. I was drooling over that truck myself. <laughs> Got the billboard. Yeah. I think I have one like that on my other roll, but I don't. I didn't have one like on this. But I do. But I have included. I have the one of you standing in front of this mm -hmm. on the other roll. With the top cut off, I'm hoping I can sell yeah, it. Yeah, that's a, a cool building. I, I really dig yeah, that building. Um, it was just cool. It, it's old, but I guess this bowling alley is from the '50s, Beaver Valley. Um, it's no longer active, but there was some cool things on the outside of the building. And even as we were coming into Beaver, yeah, both of us kind of were like, "Ooh, look at that!" It's, yeah, you can see it right from the highway. It's yeah. a really cool old, I guess, a factory at one point. I think, yeah, it was, yeah. A, bu it was a bunch of stuff in its lifetime. Yeah, and, and then it caught fire. That's what they should have. Shut down. Yeah. Part of it caught fire. That's so that's why it closed. And then they condemned it based on the part that got caught on fire. I found that out. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, hey, there's mine. <laughs> but mine gets a little bit of like the lower section. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So there are like three sections to it. There's like the seven seven story one that had like the big bowling sign on it, and then there's like this lower middle section and like slightly higher, almost like section. a more garage. Yeah, style. like a more garage section. So yeah. So you get a little bit of the. I like them both. They're, I mean, they're both yeah. definitely different compositions. I mean, you're focusing on the whole building. Oh, I'm focusing yeah. on the signage itself. Yeah. So that's that's a difference. Yeah, mine ties in like the over yeah. overgrowth and stuff. Yeah. There's oh, my truck. Yeah, I like that. So I like the shadows on the front. Yeah, I was trying, and unfortunately, I couldn't position myself correctly to get what I wanted to to not have anything modern and just get this yeah. truck. 
but at the parking lot in, in the middle of a Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday oh, yeah. afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, did the best I could. Um, I like the fact that the hubcaps came out with- I like that it has white walls, walls, so that makes yeah. the tires stand out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a cool thing. Yeah, and again, yours, yours is way, yeah, I think your, your film must have been taking better care of mine, because yours is definitely coming out. I, I don't know, I'm wondering what would happen if you were to throw your, an image of yours on here, and then. I still, I still think it, it would come out Eh, well, maybe. It's a different screen, so. It is a different screen, but I think it's drastic enough. Not drastic, drastic's a bad word. It, there's enough difference that it may be more than that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really like this photo. That's, yeah. That's one I saved it for last, because I really like, I'm not that I didn't like the other ones, but I really like this one. Um, I had people like walking with their chairs to this, Yeah. but I didn't, I didn't get anything I liked. I yeah. mean, I wasn't trying to be like on them, especially with, what the event was yes, and, right. and and the date. I try to be but, very subtle about taking, and I have a couple of pictures of people on, on all three cameras. Um, Cause it, obviously it was, there's a lot of red, white, and blue. So I have some color shots. I think yeah. I actually have this in color too, um, but I'm very happy how this one turned out. I think this is when I was coming back around and you were mm -hmm. off by the street. Yeah. But no, it's cool. I really dig, yeah, I really dig how that one turned out. I like that one a lot. And I'm been trying to take more photos of people when I go out. Cause I usually don't. Oh, I, cause I feel awkward. <laughs> And a lot, of, a lot of my photos like this one are taken from behind because I'm not paying attention. That's probably um, why I end up taking pictures of you because I'm like, yeah, Steve doesn't care. But, you know, I, I don't like portraits. I don't. I'm trying like to get I, they, they turn some, some of them turn out great. Yeah. I have that one, the skate, skateboarding kit from the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. That came out real cool. Yeah, I love that one. Okay, and then you got the other car. Yeah. Right. So this one it got a little bit more of what I was going for without having anything behind it. But yeah. again, just another bumper. It came out really nice as far as the contrast and everything like that, the line on the hood, mm -hmm. uh, the wipers, things like that. So, you know, first time taking this camera out with this lens. Yeah. Um, the light seals, I don't have any issues on light seals on this one. Yeah, that's the other thing I found out. The one time Finally. I was test running, the, the camera that I shot my other black and white roll in was the first time I took it out with replacing the light seals and everything turned out very well. So yeah, I'm, not I'm happy about that. that. We'll find out the color one. We don't. I don't know about that one. I, re yeah. I replaced the I replaced the light seals on that one too. We'll so we'll see if if I did a good job doing that or not. Yeah, I have a couple other cameras I need to do that too. But unless I'm married. But yeah. Yeah. So really cool project. I yeah, wouldn't even mind fun. doing this again. Um, yeah. Just for fun. Yeah. Um, maybe not even a challenge. It, there were a couple things like I said that we were kind of shocked by the tails of how long. Yeah. It was. The tails were crazy long. Um, it was super incredibly curly. It was a Mine was a real pain to put into the spool when we developed. I, was, oh. I got real angry. Yeah, you did. It did not uh, it did not cooperate very well, so I was not happy about that. But it, in the long run, everything everything did turn out well. 100 was a good speed to shoot at. Yeah, I it, mean, all the images captured. There wasn't any. It was other than the spots on the on the end of the roll. But I mean, I kind of yeah. expected something like that. Yeah, with, with I wasn't expecting any of these to turn out perfectly with 40 year old film. This came out much better. Than yeah, I'm very pleasantly person. surprised how the how the film turned out. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, well I'm Corey, I'm Steve, and thanks for watching.